I was getting this ready for the summer and I found that it was dripping after I had moved the steering wheel around a little. And taking a look, it is this right here. Come on, focus there. It's the supply line for the gear oil that goes to the outdrive. Now this thing looks like it's gonna be very difficult to change out. And so this is gonna be the process on how I get that changed out. You can see it right there without having to dismantle this whole thing. At least we're gonna try. Here's the gear oil reservoir, and it has a line that goes through and back to the outboard. And I just use a pair of vice grips to pinch off the line so I don't lose everything in this reservoir when I pull the line. There's the portion that goes into the outdrive. And so the first trick is going to be to cut that cable that zip tie so I can release the hose. Let's see, you can get a better idea what I'm dealing with here. This is way back, and so if I try to put my hand in here, you can already see how big my hand is I'm trying to get in there. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy. All right, here's step one. It's kind of hard to see, but I took my little pick tool. There's my pick tool, looks gigantic in the frame here. And I took the little tab of the zip tie and I popped it off of the tracks for the zip tie. In trying to move the, uh, pull the zip tie free after I disconnected the little tab that's in the, the track, it just slipped right off. So I just pushed it up. So now I'm going to try to cut a slit in this hose and pry it off. Okay, this is what I use. This is what came with a little kit to install tint on windows. I think I got it at Lowe's or Home Depot. But let me show you. Well, it's pretty easy to cut the slit in there. Let's see here. Hope I don't get oil dripped onto my camera. There's a zip tie up there and you can see the slit in the hose. And I'm just gonna pry it off. And I wish I could show you while it's happening, but I only have two hands. Now, when I originally did this, there was a zip tie up top here, and I thought maybe the zip tie was just worn out. So I replaced it with a metal clamp, uh, but it still was doing all the leaking that uh, we had before. So now I'm just going to take that off and do the same slit. Okay, there's too much tension on the hose, and so I'm going to lower the outdrive. We got that cut. Let's see if I can pull it out. There we go. Let's see here. All right, there's our hose. There's a crack on the hose. You can see it. All right. All right, and that zip tie is still way up there. And there it goes. <laughs> yeah. So here's where the hose ends up. Right in there. And then I have to get it. Another frame of reference here we are on the other side. We have to get it right in there. Alright, I got the hose. Now this is the old hose, and then here is some new fuel hose. It'll work just fine. It looks like it's a bigger diameter. But when you look at a cross section that wasn't at the um, the inlet there, it's the same size. So here I'm just going to line it up, make sure I have enough.
wasn't too difficult. Forcing it on on that side, getting the hose clamp is probably going to be difficult. Okay, so there it is way down in there. What I did was tighten the hose clamp and then I trimmed off the excess flap that was left from tightening it up. And then I used this little tool that I got and I was able to tighten it up. You just have to have the right length and this thing luckily is telescoping. So I was able to get it. There's the fitting I need to get the hose on and I'm working in this confined space. So we'll see if I can slip that on. Of course, I need to get my hose clamp on there first. All right, so let's take this here. I'm gonna put my hose clamp on because it's gonna end up like that. We'll slip that up when we can. Let's try to get this on there. All right, I got it. The secret was to put on these needle nose vice grips and then I just pushed upwards. Let's see if you guys can see here. I just pushed upwards on the back end here until I was able to push it and fully seat it. All right, so I was able to do it without taking everything apart. There's the hose that goes against the, uh, the wall of the boat, the transom plate. And then if I follow it right into here, you can see the other hose clamp way back there. Anyhow, I was able to do it just by finagling with some pliers, some screwdrivers, getting from underneath here, but you don't have to take it all apart. It is possible.